Hello, GeoLighthouse here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a World War I era aircraft in Minecraft. So first, these, all this stuff, is what you'll be needing. Now you can expand and I'll show you some other cool aircraft that I've built, but first, this is the basics, right here. This is what you'll be needing. So take a good look at it, and now let's start. So, let's first start with the foundations. What we'll need to start out with from the very beginning. The landing gear. This is the forward landing gear, and this is the most essential part for this build, because without it, you're not going to be getting very far. Next, let's go on to, oh, fell there, the fuselage. I'm going to be picking that back up, but I need it right now for this. Oh, and place this red stump there. And then, so we'll need this to be 13 blocks, 11, 12, 13. Then we'll need to build up this right here, three blocks, and then put up, put down two. Now we need, and then this will have to be three blocks. And so let's put down these three here. That's what that's gonna be for. And then there, and let me get better. There we go. And this goes here. All right, there we go. Now it's all better. Now that we have this, we can move on to cockpit right here. There we go. And I'll need to get rid of the, there we go. That little piece right there. Now let's get that piece of the old, oh, back, there we go. All right. So now we can start working on the wings. Actually, no, let's start working on the rear, the vertical stabilizer. There we go. And the vertical stabilizer is finished. And I do not believe I need that. However, I'll see if I need that later. All right, now we can start on the wings. They'll be too wide. Well, um, all right, so they'll be two wide and seven long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Oh, it's getting night. Slash time set. There we go. All right, now onto this side of the Oops, wings. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, seven. Now, on to the second level of the wing. And move in here. There we go. And voila. Now we will be needing these other pieces for some later parts. So now let's finish up working uh, ooh, out on 
this part right here. Ow, I fall again. Right now, I cannot jump on that. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, there we go. And voila. Wrong button. Now, let's see here. This goes here. Oh, nope. There we go. In here. And wait. There we go. No, that's not right. There we go. All right. So now let's finish up working on this. Now that we've finished this, let's finish up oh, this area here. And then we can get to work on the tail, the, the um, I lost it. Dang it. Not the vertical, it's the horizontal stabilizer. Thank you. The horizontal stabilizer. Hold on. All right, I'll be right back. And I'm back. And I just need to grab these three, ouch, um, pieces of slab. And now we can get working on this area here. All right, hold on. And I'm back again. This is kind of getting a bit strange here. I thought I had everything laid out, but apparently I didn't. There we go. And now let's go back over here and finish up this wing tip. There we go. Now it's looking much better. Now we can add the propeller. I just remembered the rear landing gear. And voila, we have ourselves an SE5A. Now, let me show you some other aircraft that I've built and that you can Use to build, use this, and then build off of. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. And so, right here, you can see we got quite a few of these aircraft. And as I said before in the video about the air making the almost invisible house, I would be showing you guys how to make these aircraft. Now, let's start with. The SE5, as you can see here, we have the SE5. And right here we have our Vickers machine gun, and then another machine gun up front. This is functional in the sitting and shooting purposes. Now, in order for you to be able to fly these, you would be you would need to add in the a mod for being able to fly flying mod that I have not added in. There we go. Let's add it back. There we go. And um, but aside from that, these are very functional. And you could just put them in the sky, have them flying around, and you could have maybe dog fights like that or make it look like there's a dog fight going on. Next we have the Albatross D3. Now, mind you, quite a few of these aircraft key, in Minecraft, keyword in Minecraft, words actually, look very similar. In the real world, you can tell the difference pretty easily for most. Now, with the Albatross, if you were to just take off, take out a little bit of this back piece and stick a sitting area back here, you could turn it into a DFW or a scout plane for the um, 
Germans. It, this is, the Albatross is a German aircraft, and the DFW is a German aircraft. Next over here, we have the SPAD-7. This is a French aircraft. This is also functional as the others. It's a bit different. You have machine gun off to the side. Now, mind you, you can do modifications to these. I recommend the best ones for modification are the ones with, with the two forward-facing machine guns on the nose, not up in the upper wing. I will show a better one for making it upgraded for the speed of ma the machine guns in a little bit. And here we are. This one is the one that's better. One of the ones. This is a Fokker, not Falker, Fokker, F-O-K-K-E-R, triplane. So you can see the cowling. It's got the eyes, as quite a few of these aircraft did in World War One, And it's got the red cowling as well, as quite, it, which was very popular in World War One. And then it's also got a top machine gun. And then in here you can sit. It's quite a bit thicker, the fuselage. So it would be more protective in Minecraft. Now in the real world, it probably would not have been that thick. And it would not have been as protective. However, this is Minecraft. And so it's more protective. And if you did install that mod, the mod for flying, or any mod for flying, for that matter, it would definitely add or be very beneficial. Now you can put either arrows or fireballs in any of these. Here is another. This is a biplane. This can be used as a Sopwith Camel, a, a Neuport BB, or a Spad 13. Now You'd have to do a few modifications for it to be more like a SPAD-13. However, because it's in Minecraft, it looks very similar to any of those three. In real life, this would be a BB Neuport, as the cowling is not completed underneath. The Sopwith and the SPAD-13 have a cowling that does not have a hole underneath. It would be completed. Oh like so. Also, this is a functional scout plane for the rear seat gunner, there's pilot, and then a back seat gunner. And then you have your arrow and um, bow, your bow and arrow, to shoot out the back, as I have found no good um, pivoting weapon system in this game and also any I have found any mods that do have a weapon that sticks down if you were to fly around with it it would just fall off so these are the aircraft that I've built quite a few of them look very similar to each other because of their minecraft blockiness however in real life they would be quite different the ones that look similar to each other at least. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys would like to build more of these and do create them and come up with your own ideas. If you do, please share them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a blessed day. God bless. Goodbye.